Are you a lifelong fan of General Hospital? Are you a new fan who wants to know more about the history of the show? Do you enjoy talking about the show with others? Do you find yourself yelling at the TV? Is your self-care an hour a day in Port Charles? If so, we invite you to join hosts Amanda Kimmel and Shannon Coach at the place where all the hidden conversations take place and secrets are revealed. Meet us at Pier 54, a General Hospital fan podcast. Hello. Hi. Welcome to the General Hospital recap for October 5th through 9th. We got a whole week. We did get a whole week. It was a good week, too. I was happy. It was a very good week. So real quick, I have a correction because remember how we couldn't remember who the DA was? Yes. It's Robert. It is. And he told us that this week. Yes. (laughs) But before he told us, yes, Krista Ladage, Ladage, I'm sorry. On September 28th, sent us an email. Hey, ladies, love the podcast. I was listening to the newest podcast this morning, and isn't Robert Scorpio the DA? I could be wrong, but that's what I was thinking. And the second that I read that, I responded, oh, my gosh, you're right. How did we forget that? Well, because, and I even said, I was like, because that came out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. And we've also not seen him be a DA. Right, which could be why he's DA. He's in there all the time. Yes, and he brings it up all the time. Robert's off. He wasn't even in the town for how many days, weeks? Right. I don't know how long he was gone. And I know that people were so upset because when he became DA, they're like, they're rewriting history. Except for they're rewriting a history when he wasn't on the canvas. So Right. No, I feel like they're allowed to They are, but at the same time. Yeah. It's not erasing anything. It was just adding to. And Tristan Rogers talked about it on his interview with uh, Stephen Bradford. Right. So I'm more disappointed in myself for not remembering that because I've emerged myself in that <laughs> no I can't believe that we forgot to and as soon as you sent me the message I was like oh yeah duh but then I thought it was funny that ironically Robert reminded us himself this week yeah so thanks <laughs> I do wish because we were talking about how Laura has been in DC for so long I hope that when she comes back she's talking about how she's been lobbying for mental health changes I hope so too that would be perfect I think that would be a great thing for her to at least have been gone for this long right at least give us a reason. Like exactly. I said before, just a reason. Yep. I don't really even care. I would like it to be mental health just because that makes sense. Mm-hmm. But I don't even care what it is. Just don't just pop back in again like, oh, right. you weren't missing for months on end. Well, and last week we forgot to talk about Dustin moving in with Lulu. And then this week it happened. <sighs> okay. No, go ahead. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I feel like all of it's too soon. And I guess I'm being judgy, which isn't shocking. But Dante's been gone a year. Dante's been gone for like a year and a half. They've been dating for over a year. But it was the next guy that she started dating. And I don't think she was emotionally ready to be dating. Yeah, but she has, she did take it slow. It's been over a year. However, my big problem is not necessarily the fact that they're moving in together and talking about taking that next step. They haven't said, I love you yet. Like even they were like, oh, I guess that's where we're going. Right. And to go from finally being able to say I love you to having him move in the next second, that's a big, that's a big jump. I just feel like all of it's too fast. JD moved in pretty quickly. But he wasn't. To the point where I almost had someone beat me up. <laughs> a good friend. A good friend who was <laughs> and looking. we should clarify beat you up doesn't mean yeah, beat you hold up. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> My best girlfriend was concerned at the quickness of him moving in. And even though she likes him, she was concerned. Okay, and again... Might have threatened me. I guess I'm... But she's like my sister, so it's more of... Right, she was looking... Don't be an idiot. She was looking out for you. And I feel like that's where I would be if I was Lulu's friend. Mm -hmm. So I'm totally taking this just from my personal experience. The person I dated after my ex and I were done, even if they would have been the most wonderful person in the world, I wasn't actually ready to Mm -hmm. be in that relationship. You need to, like, baby step your way out of being with the other person. Yeah. I waited over a year before I started dating. And I took, I took two years before I started dating, but even that first person, it's still like, it feels weird to be with someone new. So if I would have gone from that relationship, from my married relationship to the next relationship and that been the one and now he's moving in and whatever, I just feel like that's not realistic. Hmm. I don't know many people that jump from a marriage to the next relationship working. Right. Yeah. So I would have but cautioned still, it's her. It's been over a year and they're just saying, I love you. Right. Cause I don't think that she's ready. And I think Dante coming back is going to mess with that, which I'm not sad about. Cause I think she belongs with Dante, but I just mean, I feel like if she would have dated someone in between 
and then ended up dating Dustin if he's supposed yeah. to be the one. Yeah. Or if she would have dated Dustin for a little while and then met Joe Schmo, that may be the relationship. Do you think that they're the actually next gonna person? Move? I mean, what's gonna happen? That was that was a Friday cliffhanger. That was a Friday cliffhanger. That was, that was an great. old school Friday cliffhanger. Yes. Because before you know it, it was over. And you're like, no. Um, I, like, I cannot wait for tomorrow. Sometimes there's like, yeah, I don't have to necessarily watch it tonight. I can just watch two of them tomorrow night. No, tomorrow night, eight o'clock, I will be on Hulu. I was disappointed. Or today, because that's when you'll be listening to this. There you go. I know we can't see love scenes, but I was also disappointed that Lulu looked perfectly fine. Not a hair out of place. Her makeup was not messed up. That must have been a very good adventure for them to have because she looks just perfect. I really am not comfortable starting to guess the style. I'm just that. saying. She, she answered the door and she looked like well, maybe they she were... had been sitting, except for adjusting her blouse. She looked like she had just been watching TV or something. Well, maybe it was <clears throat> considerably, maybe they were just sitting there watching TV after. Uh-huh. We don't know what the time lapse was. Okay. She could have had already gotten up, gone and straightened herself up and then just gone back and relaxing. Her makeup was perfect. Do you think she redid her makeup? I don't know. No, she didn't. So they need to step it up with that too. I just don't like Dustin. I'm sorry. I've said that from the very beginning. He's shady somewhere. I don't know where yet. I think he's going to be somewhere in Dante's mission. And then it's going to be like, of course you're going to find that out about him because you don't want him to be with me and the kids. Yeah. That's an way. <laughs> Not as good as my Lila. <laughs> That's a very good Lulu voice. I don't I'll have to try to remember that voice. <laughs> we'll see where it goes. For me, it was just too fast. Mm-hmm. All of it has happened too fast. So I don't know. I did like the way that she said it, though. It was cute that it just kind of like fell out of her mouth. Right. She's like, you know, I love you. Oh, wow. What I just say. That was cute. My husband said it to me first because he thought that he heard me say it. Wow. And I was like, no, <laughs> I did not say that. So you said it first. You did. I mean, I did, but it was still, I don't think I ever say it first. Yeah. <laughs> That's awful. But I don't think I've ever said it first, but it was cute. I could see that would probably be the way I would say it. If I said it first, just mm-hmm. like a die, you know, I love you. We'll see. I don't know. And I wonder how the kids feel about it. Right. I feel like that's a family well, discussion. But Okay. So. You do have to give them credit for that. They both agreed that it had to be. Okay, with the kids. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know that it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. Right. Now that Dante is back, I don't know that it's going to happen. But Oh, him showing up to the funeral and seeing Sonny first. Yes. I knew he was going to come to the funeral. Did you? I did. Oh, I guessed it. I guessed yes. I didn't know, no, but I guessed it. I thought he would be watching from the back, mm. though. Not that everyone would know he was there, but kind of like how we just talked about Robin in the whole Sabrina marriage. Whatever. Right. Kind of looking in on everything yeah not coming in at the very end i like that sunny was like i can't keep this from your mom but right. then they they really talked about it and yeah he's like okay i'll give you like a couple days but right right like, this isn't i, I gonna can't be do months. this yeah, yeah. Oh, it was just so good to see him with yeah you know i know i love dante i'm glad he's back mm-hmm we're all over the place again. We are. Well, we can go back to Monday. There was your other couples on the deck. First yes. night I had. Yes. And there's Amanda's other couple. Thank you. I appreciated that. That's right. Because that's the way it should have looked. I like Dev calling out Cam. I liked Dev calling out Cam, but I did not like him going and finding her diary. Dev, never read a girl's journal. Exclamation point. Ever. And it's one thing, again, not that it would be right, but if I'm cleaning up your desk and I happen to come across it, then it's like, oh, that's really tempting. I'd like to know what mm-hmm. you say about me. But going through the basement and purposely finding it, no, that's a whole new right. level of absolutely wrong. And I feel like that's out of character for him. Yeah. So I don't know what they're like, what's he going to do? Go back to when she kissed him to see if she really had feelings for him. And even then that was months ago. And it doesn't matter. Right. You know, it's, that is so deceitful so not even just disrespectful that's a violation i mean that is that is such a trust it is and even if he finds out something good first of all it doesn't matter because it was months ago your feelings can change Mm -hmm. but you can't go to her now and say oh i read your journal and it said that you're madly in love with me or whatever no just disappointed all around with that i do think that joss and cam had the best fake kiss though yes they did a really good good job Mm mm-hmm 
I agree. I have one problem with the kids having access to all the bedrooms. Yeah. Like they have free access to the suites. Right. Okay. Good job chaperoning Portia <laughs> and Liz. That was Where's funny. the kids? Oh, they're all in the stateroom. Yeah. Don't worry about it. It's okay. There's just door shut, alcohol and beds in there. It's fine. I mean, I guess the mini bar. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of things that <laughs> yep. dissect there. Luckily, it was just the girls having a girl talk, but mm-hmm. that could have gone a whole different direction. I did say, remember how we weren't sure why Nell sent the letter to Ryan? Yeah. It makes sense for him to be able to manipulate Ava. Right. So that makes sense because she'll do anything for Julian. So I guess good thinking ahead now. Who identified her body, though? No, but they never told you that. I was waiting. Was it Julian that told someone she was dead? Someone. They had the conversation where she he was like, yeah, she's dead, blah, blah, blah. And he didn't follow it with found on the Pennsylvania side of the river. <laughs> and I was like, oh, good. We cut that line out finally. Because it was said about a thousand times last week and the week mm-hmm. before. Do you have an idea for a podcast but don't know where to start? Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Anchor is such an easy way to record and edit a podcast, and you can do it from either your phone or computer. Best part is you don't have to worry about getting it out there. Anchor distributes to many platforms, so you can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, and many more. You can start making money right away without having a minimum number of listeners, too. Anchor really is everything that you need to make a podcast all in one place. I don't know. There was so much. I don't know where to go. It was weird having Amy just start. Yeah, talk singing. about rewriting history. No, 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 no. On so many levels, no. Maxie and her were not friends. They even made a comment at one they point. They talked about it previously because- about how Maxie was kind of like the more popular, yep. rebellious girl, and Amy kind and she of was friends to with herself. Chet. And right. that's why she was willing to help because she was friends with Chet. But yeah, yeah, Maxie and her were not Mm-mm. in the same circle. And I'm pretty sure Maxie was mean to her. Right. I think and, that I, and there's if I an remember age difference to, there. There's a well, you can still be in. I mean, high school's four years, so there could be. She said senior year. Oh, she made it sound like they were all seniors together. Oh yeah, but Maxie was with Chet. Like Maxie was in Chet's grade, and Amy was supposed to be younger. Yeah. Right. I must have missed the senior. And Brooklyn's older than them. Well, yes. There's a whole lot of... But no matter what, you could No, have... Maxie's the oldest. It's Maxie? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. So it should have been Chet and Maxie, and then Brooklyn, and then Amy. They could have all been... They yeah. could have... Even playing with the ages and not making it exactly perfect, you could have said they were all in high school at the right. same time. Right. But no, it was the way they said it. I'm almost positive she said senior year, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Because they said something about that duet that we did senior year was like we were going for the Grammys or something like that, she said. Well, Amy and Brooklyn could have been seniors together, but just not Maxie. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Maybe she was just referring to her in Brooklyn. Maybe. I don't know. We'll pay attention. Yeah. But I totally, as soon as I was like, yeah, she's totally going to ask her to sing. Oh, yeah. I totally forgot about the Man Landers thing. Yes. That was That was great. That was a good storyline. I missed that. Mm Mm-hmm. I don't understand how she's going to have her sing for her, though, because they're both really good singers. Their voices are not the same. Right. At, at all. Although we don't know what this Brooklyn sounds like. I would assume they would keep it the same <gasps> way. Maybe we could bring Star back. There you go. Problem solved. <laughs> there you go. I don't think they're going to listen to us on that one. No. But you can try. I don't know. I was very proud of Brooklyn, though, this week, admitting to Olivia straight up saying, yeah, he didn't get that message because I just deleted it. Yes. That was very... Yeah, but poor Olivia, because she was like, oh, your dad didn't sell you out. No, your dad's busy keeping a whole bunch of secrets and didn't even cross his mind to mention that to me. For some reason, I wrote Ned and Alexis, how, and then, but no question mark. So it's like I stopped (laughs) writing my sentence, and I don't know, or I know why I stopped writing it, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. I wrote Ned accuses Olivia of hooking up with Robert, deflecting on the fact that he hooked up with Alexis. Yeah, I think he was doing it to... Make himself feel better, right? Because mm-hmm. if you'll admit that you hooked up with that guy, then somehow it erases that I hooked up with that other girl. No, yeah. no, no. It's not how that works. It doesn't. And I'm disappointed that he's not going to tell her. 
Oh, 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 I know what it was. How? How did he not realize that Alexis had also been drinking? I don't know. Like the morning after. Right. She was not okay. Exactly. She was obviously hungover. Mm -hmm. There's no way that he didn't know ahead of time that she was drinking. And not that you should use alcohol as an excuse to do things, but it does contribute to making poor decisions. Did you really think that she was completely sober and she was hooking up with you knowing that you're married? What does that say about what you think about her? Oh, that's, that's very, very true. Yeah. So no, Ned was just a jerk all the way around. And I don't like them playing him this way. I wanted him to have more of a storyline, but now he's just a jerk. Yeah. Like Monica calling him out. Though. Yes. Yes. On being Edward. And she totally knows. Oh he yeah. Stepped out. Oh yeah. I liked her shirt this week. She looked really cute. I'm really concerned for her health though. Yeah. She's not doing much. No. But she must feel good enough if she wants to be there. And I know, so but it's just making me sad life. to see her walking around so gingerly. You yeah. know, she's not, she typically like zips. Yeah. I did a hand <laughs> talk with my hands right now too. <laughs> we tend to do that. Mm-hmm. Oh, but back to Mike's funeral though. Christina Coven, Sunny asking how she's doing and just, she's sad. No explanation as to why she wasn't there. Right. Nope. I don't. I mean, I wasn't expecting one because really what is a good enough answer, but mm-hmm. something. Right. I did like that they had the little kids' parents. Well, not the little kids, but the absentee kids' parents mm-hmm. talk that Olivia did for Dante and that they let Ava talk for Avery. That was Yes, sweet. that was. I really liked that. That was very nice. I thought it was a good funeral. It was. I teared up. Still wish we had had some more. I'm sorry. When someone passes away, you need to do the full montage. My goodness. I'm obsessed with this montage. You are. It's going to be like um, James's birthday. We're never going to go. Just where did that come from? But I mean, think about it. Like, they always, although I guess because Max Gale is still alive, so I'll let that go. Madeline had me watching some movie the other day, and he was in it, and he was playing an uh, Alzheimer's patient again. Really? And I was like, is this going to be his new Oh, no. Now he's typecast. Yeah. He's it was amazing, for, though. Oh, so. he did so well. It was only for a few minutes, like the storyline didn't center around an old folks home but they Mm -hmm. went in so you saw him like a few times and it was like oh i know him that's the same role what are they doing i was kind of bummed that he talked to sunny afterwards why because we saw him go with courtney oh it should have been it would have been nice to see him with courtney like maybe also all dressed in white. And so like he had already crossed with Courtney, but now he was coming back right, to, to comfort and, the whole and Courtney would have been again. there to comfort also. And yeah. maybe Lily there <gasps> because Lily and Mike liked each other. Yeah. Yeah. And Morgan too. And Morgan guys, <laughs> we had a real opportunity, <sighs> but I mean, overall they did good. Although Alicia Lee Willis was on Stephen Bradford's was that this week or last? I don't know. I listened to it this week and they're like, are you a ghost or an angel? She goes, I have no idea. (laughs) So she doesn't know either. That's good. She had a great interview though. I have to listen to it. She's delightful. She's fun. She's just as sweet as you would hope that she was. So, well, cause she was joking around about how she was on for only five years and was married like five times. (laughs) But that's a good character. You show your versatility. Because well, Jason's it. running You're through. He's friends. like, wait, you married AJ? And you married me? And you married Jax? What? Yeah. I thought it was really cute that Finn included Peter. Yes. I know. Yeah, but he's he's really trying. He is. And Finn shutting down Robert. Yeah. Mm. You just love Finn. I do. Are we ready to talk about this? Go ahead. So I wrote after off Finn including Peter. How sweet. I wrote, I wish that they had brought Jackie. I wish they had brought back Jackie Templeton for the reporter role. Would have been great to play against Robert. <laughs> Here, I'm just going to read my notes in Go order. Ahead. Ooh, Finn shutting down Robert. Ned and Alexis, how? Oh my gosh, it's Jackie Templeton. <laughs> so that's why I stopped writing because it must have split to the next. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> so Jackie Templeton's mm-hmm. back. I'm happy with what we've seen of her. And I think this is where you have an advantage of not knowing the old one. Right. People who can compare aren't exactly happy, it seems like, on some of the chat boards. But because I have nothing to reference to, yes. it's perfectly fine. I liked her. She held her own. She put Robert in her pl- his place. I don't know that I would hold a grudge all those years later 
though, the way that she seemed to, especially now that she's remarried and okay, has an adult Chase. child. I would say like 26, 28. Okay, so he can't be Robert's kid, mm-hmm. right? Oh, I mean, they can play whatever they want. But I mean, that. so that was one of my first be. thoughts. Yeah, the internet went there, too. I didn't go into it because I know. I like that she called him Harry. Yes. But then she made the comment about Finn using his mom's name. But that explained it because the other day we asked why they have two separate names. Yeah. Two separate last names. So she yeah. did clarify that for us. I think that somebody is listening to our show. <laughs> and is like, you know what? That's an excellent point. That would be awesome. Because they have the same dad. So typically. Right. And obviously she's Templeton because she's professional. Her professional name. Yeah. However, she might be married as Jackie Chase. Right. That would have actually been, oh no, I guess we would have put that together, huh? If they had said, yeah, the reporter Jackie Chase is coming. Jacqueline Chase. Yeah. But we would have probably thought Chase. Oh, that must be Chase's mom. Right. And then it could have been, oh, that's Jackie Templeton. But I like how they did it. I yes. love how they did it. Oh, he was so cute. Mom! He was. <laughs> I love him. Except for the fact that he never told them about Willow when she's like, when are we going to have dinner with Willow? But he did tell Finn that. Yeah. Like a while ago, he was like, I haven't told. But still, it's been a while since he even told Finn that. Mm -hmm. You would have thought it would have come up. I mean, she's married to Michael. Yeah. I did Mm -hmm. say that I just love that they're tying all these characters to older throwbacks, but seriously, you have to explain some things. Yeah. But I'm excited. I think that it's going to be a really good... I didn't see that coming. Someone had messaged us that Kim Delaney was coming on the show and I'm like yeah we don't do spoilers like and that includes who's coming and right. going you know even if it's just rumor whatever right because you can't trust the rumors because we've been waiting for Lois to show for how long now I know well that was our own rumor there was a so, lot of other people that thought the same thing though yeah and kind of it kind of became a rumor just based off of fans drawing that conclusion well, yeah. since he said she was on the airplane coming well and when Monica said reinforcements coming i was like yay let's get lois right i mean yeah sure tracy but yeah so you know perhaps the child's mother would also be a good reinforcement right i feel like if someone slit your daughter's neck you would find a way to come home Mm -hmm. and make sure she's okay Mm -hmm. even if her dad was there to take care of her you would still maybe want to show up i think so possibly so yeah no we don't do spoilers and I had seen that she was coming, but there were so many other characters. Oh, and she could even have been if a she, million different things. Even if she played Jackie, that didn't necessarily mean she was going to be Chase's mom. Like, right. So, so that was really good. My surprise. It was cute. Yeah, because she could have been a great many things. She could have been the one that's holding Holly captive. She right. could have been anything. That person that um, Renault cares about. Yes. Yep. At whatever that address is. But. <laughs> They were three websites or something like that. Exchanging addresses. If they say it enough, it's just going to be like Finding Nemo. <laughs> right? P. Sherman. That's so funny because someone that I know has a friend whose name is Sherman. And every time that he says it, I'm like, does everyone in the office say P. Sherman, Waldy Wable? And he had no idea what I was talking about. So apparently they don't. Okay. Yeah. Oh. But and then you you're just like it. awkward <laughs> with the, but okay. it's the only other address that <laughs> many parents know. Exactly. I, I don't know. When you say Sherman, that's what comes to my head. Mm-hmm. Glad we're dorks together. Yeah. That way if they're finding Nemo references. Yep, yep, yep. <clears throat> the only other thing that I have is I think Valentine is actually going to be the one to save Sasha. I think he's going to. At least he noticed something was up mm-hmm. today. Not today, but that I know. Time during the week, he knew what I meant. My only other notes were Obrecht totally using that doctor. How stupid is he? Yeah. <laughs> she was like, of course I have feelings for you too, but we can't be together until you do exactly what you just said you wouldn't do, which is sabotage Anna also. Right. Dummy. If you're a doctor, you should be a little bit smarter. What the heck? And Love makes you do dumb things. That's true, but... I mean, he knows her past. He should be a little more cautious at the very least. Just a bit. And I liked that um, Ryan asked Ava, so are you in love with Nicholas too? Like, Nicholas is obviously in love with you. Well, yeah. I mean, he barged in the jail and said, get away from her. I liked it. Me too. That was good. I would be happy if they had a real relationship. I think that they're going to. Mm. Oh, and then... um, Renault getting in Trina's conversation. Mm. I just wanted to punch him in the face. I can't say it enough. I just don't like that guy. Well, and the fact that he's arguing with a child. Right. Like, come on. Exactly. Who does that? Yeah. But I wonder what kind of trouble she's going to get into digging around, trying to find. I'm proud of her, though. I'm proud of her. But she does need to. It's going to get complicated if she figures out that Taggart's not dead, though. Mm Mm-hmm. That's going to, like, rock her to her core because she's just sat here and 
then all sad about him. I don't know. The anger that's going to come from that. It's going to be crazy. Yeah. But pretty much. Oh, and stupid Gladys showing up and demanding. <gasps> okay. I know that she's weird, but she was like extra weird this week, right? Yeah. Like she was out of character weird. Right. She must need more money. So she wants Brando to have a real job so that he gets more money and can hand it over to her because she's keeping mm-hmm. the secret about Dev. Although she wasn't very good about keeping the secret about Dev. Are we still playing that game? Exactly. Again, where are you? Not in the privacy of your own home. Knock it off. Yeah. The look on his face, though, was so... Yeah. I liked how all of them didn't even pretend like she was invited. Mm -hmm. They just kept saying, well, you're not supposed to be here. Or you didn't know because we didn't want you here. Right. It was funny. Yeah, it was a really good week. It was a really good week. I I feel like we could talk forever, but it's just all the little mini things. Mm Mm-hmm. It was a good week. I don't think we missed anything crazy. Oh, I wasn't sure why Jason had Britt give him that exam. I know they were saying they were trying to, like, figure out if he, she's actually working for Renault or she's just dumb yeah. enough to think. But I didn't, like, what did that prove? She's not going to give you a bad medical report. Right. Or let any real information She's not going to put her license on Jeopardy. Right. At and Jeopardy. She, and if she's working with him, she's not dumb enough to say, oh, yeah, I'm working with him. So. Right. But, okay, I also... Reminded you that she, Liesl and Britt had a falling out, and Liesl was holding to that. I think that that was she still was, legit. She was. I will I'll let you have So that. I don't think that Britt knows what is going on, and I don't think that Liesl knows that she's potentially... I'm starting to think she might be a little bit more involved with Bruno than we initially thought, but I still don't think that she's as involved as she, quote, could. Okay. You think she is. I think that Obrecht's involved... I think Obrecht's involved, and that's why Britt got the job. Just because even though you're estranged from your daughter, you still care about her. You still want what's best for her. But that Britt may be more naive than I thought she was. Okay. But we'll see. I don't know. I don't have any clear answers. But Jason totally didn't help because that exam did nothing. I like that they're not allowed to hang out at the hospital anymore. Right. right. I mean, it's not a cafe, so (laughs) you need to go home. You're not visiting anyone. How do you know? Right. There are many different floors. Maybe I'm on my way to the elevator. You have no idea. But okay. Yeah. So, yeah, that's all I got. Really good week, though. It was. It was. Because I watched them all in a row, and I was afraid it was going to be like that week where I complained that I kept falling asleep. Yeah. I did not fall asleep this week. Very it good. It was keeping me Did you get your gold star this week? Mm, probably Carly, because I liked her speech about Mike the best. Mm. I felt like it was... Not that anyone tried to say stuff just to say nice stuff, but I felt like hers was the most heartfelt. Yeah. She did have good... I don't know that it's gold... Like, Gold Star is usually, like, good job, but it, that's, it was a good job. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> Close enough. There we go. Sure. Do, do, do. Reality check. So, how was your week? <laughs> You're so sleepy. I am so tired. <laughs> I'm going to make fun of you because you didn't even stay out late. No. I was home. Okay. we. I asked you how your week was. <laughs> but then you yawned. Like, Sorry. I'm so tired. I can't make it through this last bit of the podcast. I'm gonna like you were out nap. partying all night. And you you were out partying, but not all night. We weren't even really partying. So we do that dinner on Blanc every year. And this year it was canceled because of COVID. And we were supposed to do it last month. But we had to postpone because of COVID. And so it's that thing where like you dress all in white and bring food and set it up and everything. Well, my girlfriend just hosted it at her house. There were six of us. And it's a dinner party. That's party. It was a total dinner party. And well, there was funny. lots of wine. Okay. Which, thank you for, so I guess I can say thank you to you, too. Because you helped <laughs> friends of ours who I just finished up having as clients brought me wine. Don't need to thank me. I was just trying to find out what you liked. And it's funny because our friend asked what you liked, like, I should know. Because we hang out all the time doing this. I'm like, I don't know nothing about wine. I just drink whatever people hand me. I I cannot tell you anything other than it comes in red and white. That's all. So that's why I had to ask you. There you go. See, I wouldn't even go there because that's how much I don't know. So I had to kind of flat out ask you, what's your favorite wine? But hopefully you don't know why I'm asking. Well, you said that you were going to a party. And I was like, okay, yeah, there's nothing worse than not bringing a good bottle. Right. You know, and like, you don't have to spend a lot of money for a good bottle, but like right. I gave you some of my favorite brands and you're like, well, what was the last one? And I'm like, it's probably Dark Horse Sauvignon Blanc because that's what I've been really into lately. I don't know. Even if you guessed that they were going to get you something, you're allowed to guess it. I was, I just didn't want you to end up with something you didn't like because that's the worst. 
with any kind of alcohol. Someone gives you this nice present and you're like, yeah, that's nasty. I don't want to drink yeah. that. No. But so. it, was, it was very yummy. Thank you. And you finally yeah. sold that house. So, yeah. Well, at least finally sold the house at closing. But, yeah, I mean, overall, though, so the dinner was really nice. I made Coco Vaughn for the first time, and it was so good. What did your husband just call it? Coco Chicken. Rio. <laughs> Coco Rio. That's Coco what Rico. <laughs> well, first, when I told him we had some left over, he's like, what? He's like, is that that chicken you made? I'm like, yes, it is the chicken I made. <laughs> but it was really good. And my friend made, oh, my gosh. She made grown macarons. <gasps> she made a salted caramel chocolate tartlet. Oh. So we had, like, our own little. And then she made a French apple tart. Oh, my gosh. And she made little teeny tiny in, like, little mason jars peanut butter parfaits. Mmm. What else did she make? Because I eat all of her stuff. Oh, and then I stopped at a French pastry shop on Friday because I was near it and bought a bunch of French pastries. I only bought like one of each. Yeah. So that we could each have like a taste. But we definitely had a lot of food. Well, that so, like, sounds like a, a good party. party. And then ratatouille. And so typically at the event, there's always performers and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So we didn't have that this year. But everything was still all white. We wore all white. You know, she made like the little picture frame, which I was going to. And then I was like, I'm always going to make one. <laughs> and I didn't ask her and she sure did. Yeah. But it was good. It was good. It was nice to just have something semi stay mm -hmm. that should have not been. Right. And her friend, the other couple there is actually the girl who organizes the city event. Right. So you had mentioned that before. That's awesome. That was fun. And she and I found out that she knows, so I had heard about this event. This year would have been the sixth year. So I saw it probably five years ago because this would have been my third year. Okay. So I think I saw it on Facebook like five years ago. A friend of mine from high school went and I was like, wow, that looks really cool. I'm going to have to pay attention to this. Well, the next year, my friend whose house we went to went. Okay. And I was like, let me know about it next year. I definitely want to go. And so then the next mm -hmm. year was the first year that I went. It turns out that my girlfriend from high school is friends with the organizer. Oh. And she's like, yeah, she just texted me a picture. And she's like, here, let's take a selfie and send it. And she's like, hi, Shannon. You know, so like, oh, it was cute. such a small world. Yeah. Because I was like, that's exactly how I wound up. Because she asked me, how did you wind up into it? It turns out that out of like the 1,200 people that attend this event, she mm -hmm. knows the one who was the first person I saw. <laughs> so, well, but it was fun. It was fun. Yeah. Yay. Your pictures were fun. Thank you. I actually... I knew you had said you were rescheduling it, but I thought of you yesterday. I took the kids to a local corn maze mm -hmm. and one of my friends from high school, but she's only like a Facebook friend. So I didn't say hi to her because we were all like in our masks and I don't know how you socialize whenever you're not supposed to be socializing, but she goes to it every year. And so I saw her and I was like, Oh, I don't know. It just like was in my head. She goes to that thing. Shannon goes to, and then I came home and saw your pictures and I was like, Oh my oh, God. And she's doing it. Today. So cute. Cute, cute, cute. And it was good weather. It wasn't cold. It was it so was nice yesterday. Started to sprinkle and we were a little concerned, but it, it sprinkled for like, I don't know. Hardly. Yeah, I mean, like it was like minutes. every now and again, it felt like you just got like a mister. Yeah. I'm like, okay, we're cool. Right. So yeah, yesterday was beautiful. Madeline had a cheer game and my mom came to it. So Madeline was all happy because grandma came to our game. And then we took my mom home and went to the corn maze with some Girl Scout friends and... They aren't a patch because you had to find the different letters and like look up the clues to figure out what the corn maze actually made. And then whenever you came out of it, it told you. Which <gasps> Was it the one it that whenever you look, like when you do the aerial, it's always a different pattern? Mm -hmm. Oh, I want to do that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 15 minutes from here. Why do you say? I've never been. Oh, we went. It's gear hurts, right? Gear hit. Yeah. yeah. Gear, I don't It's spelled differently than the way that people say it. Yeah. So, um, but it's. It's that one. Yeah. Yes. We had done it for Girl Scouts years ago. Madeline was like, I don't know, little and cute. And so um, now she's old and ugly. <laughs> no, but she just, I, I was, that was looking, sarcasm, by the way. Yes. I was, her looking, daughters are adorable. Thank you. I was looking through my phone earlier today and I had a video of her talking and she still had that cute little baby voice uh -huh. where like all the words kind of go together and whatever. And now she talks, you know, like a person. Normally, like a person, because she's almost eight, so she's she's a big kid. She's so cute, but it's not that same mm -hmm. with that fuzzy feeling like you do whenever she's so little and cute. Anyway, we had gone a couple years ago, and their dad had taken them to the pumpkin patch last weekend, and so I didn't want to redo the pumpkin patch. 
And so whenever our Girl Scout friend was like, hey, we could do this and you'll earn a patch for she's now brown. Don't tell me what it is. Blah, blah, blah. I won't tell you what it is. Okay. But it was cute. And it, and it took, they doubled it in size, I guess, because they know no one has anything to do because of COVID. Okay. And so you had to find um, 26 clues. We did not find all of them because the kids lost interest. But still, we were in it for about an hour and a half or whatever. Oh, wow. So that made me feel better because when we first got there, I was like, $7 a person. If we walk through this in five minutes, I'm going to be really angry that I spent almost 30 bucks. Yeah. For five minutes. But an hour and a half, I felt like it was worth our time. So, yeah. That was cute. And then we ran through Wendy's for dinner and went home and snuggled on the couch and watched some Halloween cartoon stuff that Madeline wanted to watch. Aww. And that was that. I can't think of anything else that I did. This that week. sounds like a nice day. It was. It was a very nice day. I can't. Like, I know I did stuff this week. Oh, I took them and they all got new glasses. They haven't come in yet, but they all got new glasses this week, Aww. which is always fun because they think that it's like a fashion show for everyone who works in the office. Mm-hmm. And especially now with COVID, it was like super shut down. So everyone's paying attention to you because they just have, you know, one family in at a time. And so there's like eight ladies that work there and they're all like, let me see, let me see, let me see. And my girls were eating it up. Sure. We'll do a fashion show of glasses for you. So that was that. That's pretty much it. Boring. Yeah, boring week. But exciting GH. Exactly. So that makes up for it. So we are totally going to do Jackie Templeton after we're done with Anna. Yes. We are not going to take a break from Anna. Right. Yeah, we need to finish her up. Because I don't think she's going to be gone anytime soon. No, she told them indefinitely because she has a story to work on. Yep. So... We are going to do her. We are, we are, we are, we are, we are. Yes. This is not going to be like all the other. <laughs> we will do her next. She's and in the book. so this week we will be continuing our talk about Anna. Yes. <laughs> well, no matter what, we're going to talk about Anna. So exactly. So join us on Thursday to hear, oh my gosh, it's going to be part four. That's crazy. She's just so good though. She I feel is. like we could talk about her forever. But we'll be done this month. Yes. Because we have to talk about Jackie Tumult. Right. And all the other people that we say we're going to talk about and we don't. So have a good week. And we'll meet you at the pier. Bye. Bye. If you enjoyed today's show, we invite you to go to pier54podcast.com to subscribe on your favorite platform. Don't forget to leave us a review. And you can also follow us on many social media channels. Just search for Pier 54 Podcast. Also, we are not perfect. So if there is something that we missed or messed up, Just let us know by emailing us at peer54podcast at gmail.com. 